Hey, what's going on guys? It's Coding Test. Welcome back to a brand new video. And, well, it's been a while. Again, it's been like two weeks since I uploaded the first version, uh, I mean the first episode of, Air of Airbnb 2.0. Um, but, so, you know, the thing is that I've been sick for about two weeks now. And I've been extremely busy with school. So, please forgive me if, you know, during the week, I mean, the school year, I'm a little bit, you know, behind schedule f in uh, for uploading videos, but, you know, I'm in 10th grade, it's a really important year for me, and it's really hard right now, but I'll try my best to upload at least once a week. So, um, anyway, so let's jump right into the tutorial. So what we did last time was we started the navigation menu, and I don't remember exactly what was the problem, but I did fix it. So I think there was a little padding beneath the image. So what I did was I had a vertical line middle. And then for the border, I remember that it was black. I don't remember at all what I did. So uh, you can, I'm going to scroll through the code. And if you can see the difference, I mean, it's not going to be here. It's going to be, you know, from here below. So if you can spot the difference, I think I changed it to inline, no, it's not that, it's, you know what, I'm not sure, so, you know what, if you can find it, please say it in the comments below so other people don't have to search for it, but I'm really sorry, I don't remember at all. Alright, so, um, <laughs> uh, a really funny thing happened, well, in the last two weeks, Airbnb has updated their website and renewed it, like, about five times. It's completely different right now. I mean, it has absolutely nothing to do with the last version, which is, like, really weird. I mean, yeah, so, um, you know, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create our own version, you know, in quotes, version of uh, Airbnb. And it's going to be pretty similar, but it's not going to be the same. So, what I'm thinking is, you know, um... You know, this navigation menu is going to be the same as this one. It's just going to stay up. It's not going to be fixed. But, you know what? Uh, we'll see. So, yeah, let's jump right into the tutorial. Um, you know, what we're going to be doing right now, in, in this tutorial particularly, uh, we are going to be creating this search menu. So, it's a really simple thing to do, but I tried it off camera. Um, I did do it, but I did... I did it without this search um, icon because I, I can't seem to find it anywhere. Um, so yeah, let's try that. So um, I, f I tried it like about a week ago um, and I forgot what was the length of it. So it's a form. So let's see, it's width. Um, width, I can't find it. Okay, let's search for the form. Okay, I can't find it here either. Search bar here. Nothing. Mm, search bar wrapper with. Yeah, sure. Uh, well, why can't I seem to. Oh, 490 pixels. Alright. Okay, because look at this. Um, let's go to. Where is, where is the form? Oh, okay. Let's add to the form, you know, um, on. background color red. Oh, what? Okay, um, okay, well, anyways, you can see how, um, it ju it's just, the form is white and it's just blending in with the rest of the navigation menu. So, that's what we're gonna be doing and I'll show you what, I mean how. So, oh, actually, let's see how it collapses, right? Okay, that's not a bad idea. All right, let's do that. So, um, what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be creating a div. We're going to give it an ID of search bar wrapper. Or, actually... Okay, sure. Um, no, navigation search wrapper. So, nav search wrapper. 
And then inside, we're going to create the form because, you know, every input should be wrapped around in a form tag because when you hit send, it gets sent the whole, f it sends the whole form. So, um, you know, we're just going to say action, we want to say get, not post because when we write something, it's going to go in the URL. So action, I mean, uh, method, method, get an action uh, index.html. Now we're not going to be sending anything because we're not focusing on the PHP, we're focusing on design. And now inside we're going to say input type equals text name equals um, I don't know, like search and then id equals search uh, nav search I mean, the name is also for the PHP, that ID is for the label, but we're not going to have a label, so we can just close it off like this. Oh, and let's add a placeholder of, of uh, does it say something? Search, yes, yeah, it says search, okay. Search. Let's refresh, and there we go. Alright, now we're going to style it. So we're going to go and write... Let's write a comment. So, um, what was it? Nav search CSS. Nav search wrapper. We're going to say float left. Okay, um, Adam, please. Okay, that's, uh, let's clear the cache. Okay, still nothing. Um, uh, my. Nice nav search wrapper. Okay, um, width is gonna be 490 pixels. Oh, um, and then height is gonna be like 100%. But wait, background color red. Let's see how big that is. That is. Let me just copy this. Yeah, that's about right. Is it? Yeah, 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 I think it is. Okay, good. Um, what was the padding? Can we copy the padding? I wanna, I wanna see the padding. Um, padding. Yeah, I'm gonna copy this. Oh. Oh wait, no, that's um. Okay, that's that's for the form. So now search wrapper form. Input. Um. Wait. How do we send it? I mean. Okay. Never mind. Um. Input. Okay. We're only we're only gonna have one input, so we don't have to specify uh, input type equals. You know, text. We're gonna say adding this. Okay, and I want to float it to the left. Come on. Okay, um, display, oops, display inline block. Float left. Why does it say illegal? Okay, good. Uh, nothing happened. So, position relative. Okay, um, okay, see, now it says search equals something, 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 so that's something. Um, let's see. How can we move it? So we're not going to be floating it. We're going to say margin left. Um, what was it? What was the width? Oh, sorry about that. Um, the width was image, so 100 pixels, 136, maybe? Um, I'm going to remove the background color of red. Why can't I type in anything? What? 
Hmm. Okay, wait. Display. Display block. With 100%. Let me remove this. No, still can't. Uh, let's change it to 200 pixels and see if that's a problem. I can't type like that's weird. Uh, I can't select it like. Let me just go back to where I could. No, so it was. Can you hear me? I don't know. Oh. I'm gonna go back to here. Oh my god, that's that's pretty weird. Let's just say margin left hundred pixels. Why can't I select it? I input type equals text name equals search for what? Let's remove the padding. What the hell? Oh, 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 okay, okay, I think I know why. Let's put it in here. There we go. Um, now let's revive the CSS. Actually, what am I doing? There we go. Now I want to say margin left, 136 pixels. <coughs> and there we go. Uh, now I want to say with 100%. Okay, why why is it doing that? Like, what if we do what with um this? So 137 maybe. But 136 doesn't work. Great. Why? Okay, uh, okay, let's remove, so the border, so border none. And then uh, outline none to remove that blue outline whenever we click on it. Um, but let's add a background color so at least you can see it. Okay, and this is what we're going to do. Display inline block. Oh, now we don't need the margin, do we? Yes. Okay, that is exactly what we want. Um. So, okay. Um. Let's refresh now, and there we go. Sort of. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Um. Let's. Can we? Um, okay, so hold on a second. Hold on. Oh, yo, I can copy the whole SVG. Can I actually? Let me see what's gonna happen if I paste it in like here. Oops. Yes, yes, okay, good. Exactly, that's. I have the SVG now, which is perfect. Um. Wait, I want to Google something. So, how to um, how to style the placeholder with CSS? Because I keep forgetting that. Um, oh, placeholder. Yeah, that was it. Uh, let's see if it requires like any support. I mean prefixes. So it requires mods. Webkit mods MS. Okay, cool. So hold on. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Oops. I wanna add it to my 
CSS browser support, so CSS browser support placeholder. I have that, and I don't. So I'm gonna search for actually Clearfix. Do I have Clearfix here? No, I don't. Right, I'm gonna search for P something. P. P okay, there we go. Uh, so P A B C E F G H I J K K L M N O P. Okay, so I am gonna add the placeholder. Actually, I think I can add it. No, I'm gonna add it right here. No, I'm gonna add it on the bottom. Okay. So placeholder. It requires. Um, wait, how the hell did I get this in? It requires WebKit, Moz, MS. So WebKit, Moz. I'm sorry, I'm kind of wasting your time. Uh, so it's like this, like this, like this. But then it also requires... Like, hold on. Uh, it also requires one like this. Oh, and one of the columns. So, let's get more. Okay, that's that's pretty much what we wanted. Um, so I'm gonna close this off. And uh, I am going to copy this. <laughs> All right. Oh, sorry. I am going to paste it in here. Oop, here. And I'm going to remove all the comments. Because I don't want them. And in front, I am just going to copy this, like here, here, and here. There we go. Alright, uh, so let's see how it's styled. So maybe it's a color of, I don't know, like AAA. <sighs> I need to remove my cat from my laptop. Uh, let's see, a, 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 nope, um, let's try 999, 999, triple nine, triple nine, barely any difference, so I'm gonna try, you know, the devil number, 666. Six, six. Uh, not four sixes, but three sixes. Yeah, I think I think that's it. Um, I'm gonna change the font size to like seventeen pixels. Oh no, okay, that's way too big. Let's try fifteen pixels. Uh, Fourteen pixels, maybe. Yeah, I think that's about right. Um, okay, but why? Why the hell when I start? Okay, never mind. I know why. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna copy this. What the hell? Is this really not indent? What is going on? Oh, there we go. What? I don't understand why it's like only indenting at one time. Okay, there we go. And now we are gonna basically just copy the same thing and put it in the input. And now we can start typing. There we go. Oh, we're also gonna do border, border, 
box. I mean, no, 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 no. Box sizing border box. But it really doesn't matter. Um, how can we edit the results though? Like, oh, powered by Google now. I don't want to implement that. <coughs> um, you know what? I'm gonna open my CSS browser support because box sizing requires something. WebKit and Moz. Okay, so WebKit box sizing border box Moz box sizing border box. And I think that looks pretty good. I mean, like, yeah, it does for sure. Um, let me see. Oh, it becomes responsive though. Okay, okay, never mind. Um, okay, I don't have the SVG anymore, so I'm gonna say edit as HTML and I'm gonna copy everything in here. Um, oh, and when we select it, it's in black, and oh my god, that's perfect, that's perfect. That's perfect. Okay, um, so how do we, so you can see that there's padding right, you know, where the search bar, sh I mean, where the search icon should be, and we're just going to paste it in there, so we're going to paste it to G right here. Okay, now we have to style it, of course, so with 1M. Height 1M with the so that's 16 pixels basically. 1M is 16 pixels. I don't know why anyone would want to use you know an M, but I use pixels, but it doesn't matter. Um, okay, so no, actually, it's before the input. So now search wrapper form SVG with. 16 pixels, height 16 pixels, display in line, block. Let's remove the cache. Okay, what if I do like 160 pixels? Oops. Nothing changes. Let's remove this. Nothing. Okay. Absolutely nothing. <coughs> oh, um, let's try adding a display block because, you know, why not? Okay, absolutely nothing. Nav search wrapper form. SVG. Oh, because there's a style to it. Wow. I don't want the style. There we go. There we go. Why the hell? Wait, okay, hold on a second. So display inline block, and then I'm going to say display inline block here as well. And nothing happened. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Let's try cleaning it again. Nothing, nothing again. How are we gonna get that? Fill, okay, line height 61 pixel. Oh, but see the height is 18. Oh, could it be like 1M? Could 1M be. Wait. M. 1M. Okay. Um, I, don't, I thought it was 16 pixels. It might be 18. I'm not sure. One height. Um, I don't see how the line height is going to change anything, but let's try adding it. Like line height. 61 pixels. 
No. Not taking that fence. Oh wait, vertical align middle. I did absolutely nothing. Um Just play, I don't know, like, it's weird. Okay. What if <coughs> we say, I'm just gonna try this out, float left. Oh, why does it say legal? And then float left as well. What the hell? Alright, okay, nothing else happening here, so here we go. Um gotta remove this. Um okay, I think I know why. Actually do I What if we add the padding to the form? Hashtag now search wrapper form. Okay, uh, that was a bad idea. So, well, what if we add the SVG? Uh, I don't know, actually, I had it in there. Um, I have added it before, like, that's weird. I don't, I can't seem to, you know, input, whatever, what is this? Okay. Margin. Oh, there's a margin. Let's copy the margin. Absolutely nothing. I got it. I got it. I absolutely got it. But how I don't know how it's gonna work when we have that. So this is what we're gonna do, okay? I'm gonna delete this. We're gonna add it as a background color. Cause I mean it's not clickable anyway, so but <clears throat> how to add SVG path as um as a background image. I'm not sure how it's gonna work as a path. Um, how to make the hell? SVG path as background. Okay, can I do SVG path to SVG, you know, online? Because I want to make it as an image, not as a path. Okay, I don't want to convert image to SVG format. What I want to do is SVG pat how to convert <coughs> um, SVG path to 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 EPS like and then from EPS to SVG. No, I don't. SVG path to image. Because I don't want to implement it as, you know, a path. And, oh, I have Illustrator actually. Let's, let's, let's try and open up Illustrator. Yeah, that's another really long tutorial. <laughs> and we're probably not going to get anything done. 
Um, let's say new. But how do, are we gonna paste it in? Huh. Okay, I can't do that. Oh wait, is that? No, I'm, I'm gonna cancel that. Uh, <laughs> where can I enter my image path? So I'm gonna put that. Uh, okay, 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 okay. I think I got it. I think I got it. Let's try doing. Um, I'm gonna remove this. And then background image URL. But that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Okay. Oh, okay. Hey, what the hell, man? Uh. SVG tag to SVG file. That's what we want. <coughs> okay, let's try that. So we're gonna say new, not new folder. So text edit. Come in and save this. Let's go to desktop. Save it in where is Airbnb? Airbnb, and I'm gonna say save it as. No, I'm not gonna hide extension as a search icon. Dot svg. Use both. Then I'm gonna rename this to dot like this. Just use that feature. And is it gonna work? I don't. I don't think so. I mean, like that's that's kind of absurd. Yeah, as the is invalid. How are we gonna do that? Uh, okay, this is our SVG. Let's load it. I want to download this, and there we go. Exactly what we want. What we want. Delete, and we are gonna say search icon. <coughs> I'm sorry about my coughing. Um, URL search. Icon dot SVG. What? Rename. Uh, and I know what. I am gonna be right back. Someone's at my door. Okay, and so I am back. And basically, um, the. <laughs> I found a new method, uh, which is basically I went to this website, and when you refresh, it converts this as an image. So what I did was I clicked on inspect, I changed the SVG code to the search icon, clicked on save as image, and it converted it to an SVG. So <clears throat> we now have our SVG icon right here, and this is what we're gonna do. So we're gonna say background repeat or repeat background position right uh, actually left <laughs> okay uh, background um, size can you say 18 pixels we can but it's not it's, it's um a little bit smaller, so let's say like 20 pixels, oops, 20 pixels, no, okay, and I also want to change the color, so color is, what, what, what is this, I, I can't see it, 72, 72, 72, okay, so RGB to hex, 
<clears throat> and I want to change uh, show color values. So can I change this RGB to hex? So it's in Google now, but yeah, I can't really, you know, uh, edit the code, which sucks. So my mouse just the battery on my mouse just died, so we're gonna use our trackpad. And uh, okay, RGB, so it's uh, 72. 72 my 72 which is hex 4848488 oh no in finder and I want to delete this and this as well close it off and we can open it up with Illustrator and uh, let's just wait for a second and I'm gonna select this change the color to 4848 can okay, change that so 484848 like this save it but now what we can do is we can create a new pixel uh, document and say hide 18 pixels with 18 pixels I can just copy this paste it in here and resize it to however we want like this I'm gonna save it we're gonna go to Airbnb SVG and we're gonna select SVG Replace and uh, 1.1 that's what we want. Subsetting, I'm not <laughs> gonna mess with that. So, there we go. Now let's refresh and perfect. All right, I'm gonna remove this now. Okay, that's like way too big. Uh, what the hell? Um. Okay, uh, background size contain. Okay, uh, 18 pixels. That's that's probably right. Yeah, it is. Um, 100 pixels. I mean, how can I change this? Oh, 100 pixels. There we go. So the padding is 22 pixels. No, it's 52 pixels, so we're gonna say like 50 pixels from the left. Okay, like 40 pixels from the left. Wait, 30 pixels to the 20 pixels from the left. Wait, 30. And yeah, I think that looks pretty good. I mean, I think that's. Okay, let's try 25 pixels. Yeah, okay, that's perfect. Um, let's just see. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So we can save for Varna and search equals Varna. So basically, it's getting the name, you know, and since it's a get, if we change it to post, you can see that when we type in, nothing is going to go in the URL. But since it's get, is the URL to transmit data which is good only for search bars it's not good for sending you know uh, basically anything else um, well actually you can also set like the language with the get and everything but you know nothing else alright perfect um, I think that's gonna be it for this tutorial it's 40 minutes long that's way too long for something so simple as that but you know we had a lot of problems uh, through the way so I mean I am happy with with our with the result but yeah it's a little bit too long so yeah anyway you guys um hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to slap the like button if you loved it please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one peace